Hello everyone. I am here to do a ketchup, a December daily ketchup. Let me just adjust my light. There we go. Um, so I have done some work in it and I'm going to do some work today as well. So here is what I've done. So you've seen the cover. Oops, that's not straight. And the front page. And one and days one and two, you can see, it's funny, you can see I was getting kind of warmed up here. And that's day two and three and four and five, six and seven. Am I in frame? Yes. So each of these pulls out is a different day. So I'm doing the prompts that um, Rachel put up and put together. And I love it because they are not daunting. They're completely manageable. So I've having, been having fun just decorating with the prompts. So here's nine and 10. Nine and 10 are a booklet. And then eight. That um, undoes and it opens here, I'll show you. In case you missed it before, it opens up and it's a whole writing space. Isn't that cute? I, I None of these ideas are original. They're all things that I have seen other people do and I have stolen. I made my own. Okay, so that just ties back in a cute little bow. I love that. And that's just a decoration. Um, that was the first time I used my embossing inks. No, embossing powders. Um, I had never done that before. 11, 11, 12, and 13 goes tucks behind there. So it was 12 and 11. And then these, I posted this one on Instagram, but I haven't showed it on camera yet. So I got, so the 13th was my birthday. And I, oops, and I got some um, embossing folders and some, uh, die cuts and those embossing folders I don't have the folder out but this is pardon me I um embossed some tracing paper and can you see that let me turn the light a little more directly so it has there we go it has like ice bumps like an ice on a on a, a window and so what I did was I took that embossed tracing paper and then I rubbed it very superficially with um, the embossing ink, Versaclair, I think I use. Yeah, Versamark, just embossing ink. I just kind of like very lightly rubbed it. And then I sprinkled the holographic powder and it made it look like a frosty window. And these are also die cuts. Those are two different shapes that I used embossing powder on. And this is, these are die cut trees, Tim Holtz die cut trees. And there's some more of that embossed. It's like the other piece of that. And I did the background up. I used the negative spaces from the trees to stencil some trees. And then I used some inks, including some mica ink. So it would give it a little bit of a, I used that mica spray. Uh, it's called brushed pewter. You have to get a, get a really good shake when you use it because it is a powder that's suspended. It's really pretty. And then I use some of this snow. Let's see, there's the holographic one. It's a uh, ranger. And then there's the blue one that I used on the snowflake. That's wow, nice ice blue. And then the one for the snow on the um, trees there, it's this one. It's Ranger Snowflake Tinsel. And the other thing that I just got that I used is one of these Ranger um, pens. So you can just put the sticky ink just uh, where you want it. I also use some of that um, holographic on the, on the number there as well really happy with how that turned out and that just slides in right there i want to use a little lace to make it look like snow 
And then this side, oh, you know what this is? This is a faux front envelope of sorts. And instead of putting tucks in there, I used a little waterfall thing of um, paper. So that's the 15th and the 16th. What can I see from my window and favorite Christmas movie? And I wrote about watching my birds. And then here's the 17th tucked in here on a postcard. That one was, what is the best gift you've given someone? And on that one, I just talked about when the kids were little, how much fun it was to pick out the best toys that they were so excited about getting. I love doing that. And then what is your favorite thing about Christmas? That's a real simple one for the 18th. So, oh, and the envelope is cardstock. I used an envelope punch board to make that uh, envelope. And this is just all different. There's several different um, card stocks, uh, scrapbooking card stocks. And then you can see I also did some um, holographic embossing on that tree to make it shiny because that side is so shiny. And then on this page, this is where we are now. Uh, so today's the 20th, so I have to do the 19th and the 20th. I made this uh, fabric pocket feels really good. So this was just a piece of fabric, Christmas fabric that I had that I really liked. And then I sewed it onto a piece of muslin so it has some heft and it feels kind of soft and squishy. And I just, this is some um, vintage lace that, or antique lace that I'm going to be very sad when it runs out. And so I wanted to keep some for myself. And that's just some modern lace, but I like the way it looked hanging from the bottom. And I put on some bling. I remembered the bling. Okay, so then for the pockets for the 18th and 19th, no, 19th and 20th, I got this napkin. I thought I would do some decoupage. Because I can definitely fit two tags in that pocket. And this is a Michelle Design. Michelle, I think it's, it is pronounced, Design Works. They have an angel policy. So you do not have to worry about using, not that, I mean, this is for my personal use, but I have taken to only buying napkins that I know are safe to use. And look at these cute little scenes. So these are, there are two different pictures here. Um, and the little creatures are wearing different um, costumes in each. So in here, the, the owl has a knit hat and the birdie has a Santa hat. And the little hedgehog has a scarf. And over in this one, the owl has wearing the Santa hat. The birdie has the top hat. So look at that chap, they're so cute, love them. So th I thought I would use both of those, one on each tag. Obviously I'm not gonna be able to fit the whole, oops, the whole um, image, but I'll fiddle with it and see what I like. And to, um, to do the actual sticking down, I'm gonna use Liquitex Matte Gel Medium. And I got my handy dandy brush, and I have two tags that I have cut from using a die cut. It's a Tim Holtz, no, it's, is it Tim Holtz? I don't know. It's a tag-shaped die cut. It's either Sizzix or Tim Holtz. It might be Tim Holtz, anyway, it doesn't matter. And um, this one is uh, like a, a craft card, and this is a file folder. Okay. So here we go. So how are you all doing? Oh, I like that. I'm gonna miss that owl. But I like having the moon there a little bit. And I get part of the hedgehog. Yeah. Part of the chipmunk. And it's okay if they're not entirely on in frame. Okay, well that's easy enough, isn't it? Oh. So today is Sunday, the 20th, and it's been quite a while since I've made a video, like a week. Apparently, I just can't bring myself to do it during the week. Like I said, I'm doing remote teaching, and the thought of talking into the ether <laughs> at the end of each day is just a little more than I can handle. Because, you know, the kids don't turn their cameras on, there's very little... Uh, 
Oops, I forgot to grab a wet wipe. There's very little human interaction. It's just mostly me doing my little radio show spiel, which gets old and discouraging. So doing that some more during the day is just not my cup of tea. I'm just trying to get as much of the hedgehog and the squirrel as I can. There we go. I don't mind that it's uh, bare there. You know what I could do? I probably could, let's see, cut this down here. And I could probably just put some more tree right there. Because it's just the, the tippy top of the tree. There. Like it was meant to be. And then I'll just go over the top with this. <laughs> with a little hole right there. It kind of looks like the Death Star. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh well. Oh dear. Oh, so we have two more days of school this week and then we are on vacation until the like it's like the third or the fourth or whatever that Monday is after New Year's. And, and it's like we are just creeping towards it, clawing our way towards it. All right, I'm going to put that aside and let that dry, and I will trim it down afterwards. And let's do this one. And maybe on this one, I'll try and get the whole hedgehog. Like that, maybe. If I do that, I get the whole owl and I don't cut much off. All right, so I could probably do a third one. So let me get this white uh, glued down. So this Liquitex matte gel medium, I just got at Michael's. That's all. That's the only store we have right now um, for craft. There is a Joann's that's about an hour away. Um, and we don't have Hobby Lobby or Tuesday Morning or any of those other interesting sounding stores that you guys all have, or a lot of you have. Yep. There we go. And I will just, did I get his little bottom? Oh, I did. Yay. Um. So yeah, so forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I got that at Hobby Lobby. Although my, when my daughter got me those Posca pens for my birthday, she ordered them from Blick Art Supplies. So I think that might be my new thing. It, it kind of, you don't get to go and browse, but you can browse online. And since I do, we do so much online anyway now because of, um, you know, the thing, uh, that's fine. There we go. There's that one. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. Oh, I think those are going to be cute. All right, so now what do I do? Wait for it to dry. I mean, I suppose I could. Uh, use the heat. Oops, I just broke my super cheap paintbrush. Um, I could, no, let's do something else. What else can I do? Um, let's see. Let's just, let's think ahead to the next day. Oops. Let's grab this out. The book again. So I'm going to put those two, both of those in that pocket. So what should go on here? What have I not done? I have 
I have that multiple pocket. I've got that kind of thing. I've got flippies. I've done flippies. It's kind of a normal pocket. What about like a, um, I've done the tiered pocket going that way. Why don't I do a tiered pocket going that way? I do have one of the Tim Holtzy ones, but why don't I see, see what else I can do with that? Um, I'm just looking over, over there in my pile of things. And I suppose I could raise up. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, I guess. Just layer some of these um, that I have left over from the strips. Well, this is such a pretty paper. This is that Stamperia such a pretty paper. Oh, and that's a robin. What if I use that as a base? All right, I'm going to get my cutting thing. Let's, 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 I'm liking this idea. Okay, forget for a second. How much room do I have? So if I did five inches wide. That would give me plenty of space. Okay, so let's get out the cutter. And what does five inches wide look like on this? Do I cut off all the birdies? I cut a birdie in half. Ugh. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. All right, so if I do four and a half, then I can preserve that birdie for another time. That's okay, because four and a half is plenty of plenty wide for a vertical pocket, don't you think? And then uh, this, <laughs> it's so funny, I can't figure out which way it goes. Four and a half wide on this. <clears throat> Oops, looks like I'm going to need to change that out soon. Um, so go under the birdie. And then, so this is still 12 high, I think. Yeah, this is still 12 high. So if I cut just above the birdie, or maybe I'll just use all Stamperia. All right, let me see. Let me see if I can make this work. I'm going to cut right above that little tree thing. That is, if I do it at five, <clears throat> I'm just trying to think how can I use the other half as a as the base behind it. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do this at six, cutting it right at six, but then if I line them up, they'll be the same height, but then I can cut this down under the word Arboretum. Oh, can I use that? No, it's too thin, but I could do something like that. Oh, I'm so sad I'm losing that little bird. Okay. So I want I want it to go like that. I suppose I could make it a a no, oh, let's cut this in half. Okay, I'm gonna cut it under the word arboretum, like I just said. I know I should put that in water, I'll get to it. Arboretum. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll fussy cut that out. Okay. So I can do it like that, and it's okay that this doesn't go to the bottom. If this one doesn't go to the bottom, that's okay, because it will still go through. And since I really want this bird, I wonder if I can just do a little kiss cut. Not a proper fussy cut, because 
proper fussy cutting Ugh, annoys me. Not when other people do it. I don't mind watching you people do it. It's just, I can't do it myself. And I don't mind having a little bit of the paper as a border because I'll just ink this and it'll frame it out. There we go. Oh, so we had, um, we have little birds here called juncos and they're in the same family as sparrows, but they're really pretty. They are, um, uh, all kind of a smoky gray color all over their little bodies, except underneath they're on their bellies, they have bright white and they have two white stripes on either side of their tail. And one of them flew into our French doors. Bye, honey. Have a good day. Love you. Love you too. That's Ruthie going to work. Um, and she flew into our French doors that go out to the backyard. I've seen it happen before. It We have the cross panes. And so it's not that she couldn't see it. It's just that she, it was one of those panic flights where they all take off at the same time because someone has said, danger, danger, predator. Ah! And um, so I went out and picked her up out of the snow because we had a big snow the other day. Um, and I held her in my little hand. I could feel her little heart going thud, 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 thud. And I held her outside the door um, with like with my arm stuck through the door so she was free, but I could feel her little feet warming up in my hand. And uh, well, she, I don't think she was completely ready to fly off, but my dog jumped on the door and scared her. So she flitted off. We have a grape barber right in back of our doors. So she stood in the grape barber for a little while and I watched her. And then she flew into a little um, apple tree sapling that we have and sat there for a while. And then, and then I didn't see her again. So I think she's okay. Um, I don't know. I hope she is. I don't know if it's a she. I'm just using that. You know, for, for want of knowing. All right, so let's get, let's spruce this up a bit. So I'm kind of liking how that works. Um, but let's add, I just got a ton of lace um, from Amore Fabriques. And there were some really pretty crochet laces in this. This one I like, cause this one looks kind of snowy, snowy white. And um, this one is interesting. It's like that Greek eye symbol that keeps the evil spirits away. And here's some more white. I've been liking using the white because it looks kind of snowy. All right, so I think that's, oh wait, what's this? That's that same one. This is some of that white. That's a white crochet. All right, so let's look at that. Let's look at those choices. Um, and I think I want thumb holes in all of these. So I like the trick when you're finding a thumb hole, you line them all up at the top and then you do the thumb hole simultaneously. It works better when your thing is sharp. We'll see how this goes. Ah, it worked. I'll find those later. <laughs> okay, so do I want to dress, distress these with, um, no, I want to distress them with, um, I have the Rustic Wilderness that I've been enjoying. I think I'll use that. It says salty ocean, but it's actually rustic wilderness. Yeah, so I was feeling sad. I was worrying about her. And my husband said, oh, look, there she is right there. <laughs> there are like a dozen <laughs> little uh, juncos at the feeder. They like to hop around on the ground and feed on the seeds that the others have made a mess of. And he says, no, 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 that's her. I recognize her. <laughs> trying to make me feel better. 
Oh, I don't know. She seemed pretty stunned. And then I was worried, oh, it was such a cold night. But we got our um, house. I spent all day yesterday cleaning the house. And didn't actually wash the floors because the snow was melting and we have two dogs. And I was just done vacuuming and I was about to go get the floor cleaning stuff and I had to let the dogs in. And they just, you know, ugh, I just like, why am I doing this to myself? So I did not wash the floors. I think Santa will forgive me. But I did get everything nice and tidy and clean. And then we brought down the decorations from upstairs and we put the tree, got the tree. My son, Sam, and husband went and got a very small potted tree. Um, and yeah, I like how that looks. Do I want the, the little birdie? Uh... I think I want the birdie there. Maybe she wants to be behind um, a strip of lace. No, no, that's not working for me. But I do want the birdie. Oh, I know what I have. I can get a little, I have, I have, I have, I have. Hold on. I have some cheesecloth. Just get a little snippet of cheesecloth. I'm just looking to see if it's all the same. And that will make her stand out. There we go. That's probably too big a piece. Well, that's sad. That's too bad. Uh, that's okay. Look, just I was just looking at a big pile of stuff right there. But I'll save it for something else. Okay. So she's going to go on that little piece right there. Okay. So I got one of the Sugar Bell toppers. It works quite well. I'm liking it. So I'll put some that cheesecloth right there and then I will put her on top if I don't lose it <clears throat> yeah so the house looks all nice and decorated and we have a tiny tiny tree like I say it's potted but it's got white lights on it and the kids will when my daughter gets work back from work today, their tradition between the two of them is to exchange, they don't exchange gifts except for um, an ornament. They give each other a new ornament each year, ornament. And so, yeah, so they have to exchange their ornaments and then their job will be to hang the ornaments, <laughs> ornaments, <laughs> ornaments, and they'll hang them and they'll distribute them between the tree. But then I also have um, so if, let's see, if, well, anyway, it's, it's a, the whole, the downstairs is a mudroom, a living room, and a kitchen, and it's all one long, I think they call it shotgun, open plan, and so there are two kind of rectangular arches, and along this one, in between the living room and the kitchen, we have a, a really long wreath, not wreath, garland, that I hang along and I have it tied up with a bow in the center and it hooks on the corners and there are lights wrapped around it and then we hang some ornaments off that as well. And we started doing that when we had a puppy, <laughs> uh, which was great and the dogs couldn't disturb it. But, and then I just love it. I love sitting down there with the fire going and the, um, the lights changing colors and a cup of hot something or you know, an adult beverage and it's all good. Yeah, I like that. So I think I might want to sew around this. I haven't used any lace yet. Kind of wanted to do that, didn't I? I could do some there. Can you see that? 
I don't want to interfere too much with the pockets because I didn't make them gusseted pockets. They're just pocket pockets. So they'll have to be a narrowish tag. But I can do three. I can do one, one in here, one in here, and one behind. So that will take care of three days. There's that. There is, we'll audition them. There's that. Oh, um, and then there's this thicker one, which is so pretty. I like this one. I don't really want to cover up the the robin. I could cut it down. I like that it has the big scoops, scallopy scoops. I think I'm going to go with this one. See, I want it to be a complete... complete set like that stick these back oops in there and then I want to cut it down a bit and then I'll just I'll just scooch it scooch it together a little yep 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 that's it all right so let's cover up this and let's, I will tack these together. This is art glitter glue in here. And so this one, I just want to squeeze out on the sides because it's going to be kind of like a, a belly band, but it's going to be a hidden belly band. So that'll go. about there. And then this will go on like a pocket. Yep, so do you all have trees up? Or do you have, do you go big? Our friends have a, um, a great room that's like a two-story great room with a big old fireplace. And normally, and they have like actually have a balcony on the second floor that goes around it. And forever they've gotten, they've had to go and cut down a tree. And they've found like the most, like 20 foot trees, just these enormous trees. And then you, you can only decorate the lower half of it from the ground floor. Then you have to go up to the balcony and, and use a giant outdoor ladder and kind of reach around. And and it's, it's once it's done, it's very exciting. And you can see it as you drive by. You can look into the house and you see this giant tree. And But they didn't do it that this year because the guy who had the farm that they always went to, didn't ha wasn't open anymore. He just shut down. It was kind of sad. I don't think that was COVID related. He didn't, I'm not sure he opened last year either. But now that, you know, that it's all, you know, craziness, people, should, they didn't want to go traveling and searching. So they went and got a normal sized tree, which is lovely. And we got a teeny tiny one. <laughs> Like literally teeny tiny, so tiny that comes in a pot, which is nice because we can keep it watered and it'll stay healthy, and then we can put it outside. But um, yeah. All right. Oh, I was gonna do the lace. I just put that lace away because I was chatting. Here it is. All right. So let me just straighten this up, and then we'll see if our how our other things are doing. And I'm going to put it right along here. Yeah, so my birds at my bird feeders, we have really fabulous diversity. We probably have, that was one of the prompts that, I'm, that I've that i already done was what you see outside your window. So I went and talked about my birds and we have probably 20 species that we can see. Oops, where's my tool here? My handy dandy tool. 
Um, yeah, so we have, don't have any robins, they've gone. Um, but we have juncos and titmice and chickadees and house wrens and white-breasted nuthatch and yellow or orange, red-breasted nuthatch and uh, goldfinches and house finches and white-throated sparrows and song sparrows and uh, downy woodpeckers and blue jays and cardinals. Yeah, I've really been enjoying the birds. They've kind of, they kind of help get me through the day. And squirrels. We have red squirrels and we have um, gray squirrels, both. And I think they're very cute. And I don't try and chase them away or try to thwart them in any way. And, um, because, uh, you know, I feel bad for them. It's cold out there. All right, so this will go in on this page, which is pull outable. So I was thinking maybe, oh, I wonder if I should have done it there. No, that's too busy. It works better there. Maybe I'll sew this right onto the page. And I'll do like a zigzag and just catch the edge. All right, so I'm gonna stop right here, but then I'll come back. Hello again, I'm back. So I have done a couple of things. I sewed the pocket onto the, um, right onto the page using a, a zigzag, a very wide zigzag. And it really hardly interferes with the backside. And I did pull both threads through and tie them on the back so it won't come, become unraveled. And then I decided that these actually looked better on this side because this is kind of a birdie themed page. Don't you know? So they all fit, these two fit in nicely in these two pockets with the little birdie sticking out. And I used my crocodile to set an eyelet in there. And then I made a third one with the leftovers on a, on a smaller tag uh, to go in here. So yeah, so I thought that was really cute. And I like that these two birds are the same bird, but they're facing different directions and they have different hats. And that, I've got two different owls poking out. So I like that. So I think that's gonna be an, um, the next three days, but I still have to do uh, something for in here. So, <laughs> so I'm going to use my Artie Mays uh tag fabrication for christmas and that um that paper that i have there used had a bunch of holly on it so these are so cute so aren't these pretty i'm just looking back at that page Yeah, so there's greens, evergreens on here, some poinsettias in the ice skates, and then this is like holly and sparkly gold. So maybe I'll combine these things. So it's some poinsettia. Don't think I'm gonna use the darker ones. Oh, and there's evergreen and holly. Oh. Choices, choices. So let's, let's see. Let's cut out. I like this background. So I'm gonna cut that background out. So the other thing I need to do is I have another journal that I have not touched in about a month. And Tracy Fox in her Facebook group is doing a challenge where you pick up something that you haven't finished and you finish it. <laughs> Which, you know, it sounds like such a simple thing. I don't know if I'm feeling it. 
like I said I would go. Oh, oh, that, I, that, hmm. Now that looks cute, but you cover up all that nice holly. So, and those are the same size. So maybe I do want to put it back it onto the poinsettia. But again, it's kind of, hmm. That's okay. All right, well, I've got that cut out, so let's do that one. And then we can do this little one here. I'll tuck this one in. So I'm going to snip off the corners because I accidentally snipped the corner there. Okay, so then that gets the holly in there. And one on this side. See, I'm just trying to find a spot to layer some of these elements. Okay, so there's that. And uh, here's some more little holly bits. Okay, let me get my zigzaggy postage -y scissors for this. I wonder if I would like this better. <clears throat> yeah, I like that better. Doesn't mean I can't include them both. Maybe I'll put that one there. <clears throat> and this one behind. Ooh, if I'm gonna put that behind, I should probably not have it be so wonky. There we go. Yeah, so I think my new prompts are, oh, how do you decorate for Christmas? Which I mentioned. Oh, the smell of Christmas. So on our wood stove, we have a um, cast iron pot that you fill with water to keep the room humidified. Only ours is shaped like a dragon. So that when she gets going, the steam comes out of her nostrils. I love it. So I put cinnamon sticks and cloves in there um, uh, regularly. Ugh, I just want, I want, okay, maybe like that. Okay, we'll do that. Um, and I realized when I opened up the um, jar of cloves the other day, I had this rush of memory of my father's mother's house when I was a child we called her Nana um and her making a Christmas ham and using the cloves like she would stick the cloves in and I remembered the smell of the ham cooking with the cloves oh so yummy it's possible it was Easter I think it was Christmas Christmas was a bigger gathering um with the family, with the cousins and the aunt and uncle. And, and so I think it was Christmas. I could, can't be a hundred percent sure. Cause you also have ham at Easter. Um, but I think it was Christmas. I remember being, they had a, the, the dining room, the formal dining room was towards the back of the house and it was kind of dark. And so it had like mood lighting and yeah, that was fun. That was, that was fun.
So that was definitely a smell of Christmas and a memory that I had of that. Okay, I think that's, I kind of want a word. Let's go with magic. Wow, I'm doing very bodgy cutting today, as Rachel would say. I love all the sayings that I've learned from you guys. Pants and bodgy and uh, what else? Uh, I can't think of any. There we go. <clears throat> Magic. And where's that little piece of... of um, Extra, ha ha, extra this. I'll just put that on and I'll ink this as well. I will ink it with the Rustic Wilderness. I really like this wash, Rustic Wilderness. I think it's going to come in really handy. I got the, the kit, all the different kinds of Rustic Wilderness. So I have it in the ink and the embossing powder. This is what the embossing powder looks like, but as you cannot tell, I have not used it yet, but I should find a way of using that. That would be fun. Oh, look, I have a little tiny scrap of lace here too. Do I want that on the lace? Nope. Nope. Not necessary. Not necessary. Okay, so let us do this from the bottom up. <clears throat> so what else? What else? We had a lovely cocktail last night. We had some eggnog with my favorite spice drum. Uh, my favorite spice drum is called Kraken, and it has a picture of a Kraken on it. And that was yummy. And that's just very Christmassy feeling out there in the in the in the big room. Right now I'm sitting in a little den that's off the big room. It was originally the kitchen before we renovated. Hard to imagine us cooking together in here now. Granted, Alan does most of the cooking, but there was a time when I, I stayed home with the kids when they were very small. Oh, no, that's right. Um, and at that time, I did a lot of cooking, but it's not my favorite thing to do. And he likes being creative, so he does the cooking mostly. And... Um, yeah, so it's hard to imagine this room being the kitchen anymore because my son is sitting right there and he has his computer that he built himself. <clears throat> and I was watching The Simpsons, but he also uses it for gaming. He, he bought the part specifically so it could be a gaming computer. It's very fancy. Yep, so it's crowded in here. We also have the TV. In here, in here that's right over there, which is nice having it not in the main living space. It's kind of off in this little den, which I like. There we go, magic. And uh, it needs some kind of an eyelet, but I didn't leave a lot of room for an eyelet, so maybe I'll do a tiny, teeny tiny one. So I realized with this crocodile thing, ah, get in there. If you if you look in there, you can see where you're poking. So instead of looking through there, I look in there so that I can see where the pokey thing is hitting, kind of. So I can position it much better 
when I'm looking at it side on. There we go. And then uh, I use this kind. Isn't it interesting? There's a magnet right there. I, I, um, I attach this to the metal supports that support the shelves that are you're you're hanging from, and so the this color attaches to the magnet, but the other Tim Holtzy ones don't. I think this is Recollections, so it's not interesting though. So little little one. Oops, I need to change this out to the small pokey bit. And the smaller smashy bit. Oop, that didn't work. That's okay. When they don't work well, I just take a pair of pliers and finish the smashing job. No worries. Okay, now I need something to put through that. I used sparkly stuff on the other one. I wonder if I could get this sparkly. It doesn't really, the sparkly stuff doesn't go. I need something, I need something. How about some of this? Here we go. Some eyelash, sparkly eyelash. And then I'll hang the dates from the a bulb pin that's attached to the topper. And I will maybe. I can get this through and I will um need a pokey tool uh oh where's my pokey tool oh dear I put my pokey tool down someplace and I wasn't paying attention oh shoot hmm. oh there it is it just fell down deep Oh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I'll attach the numbers with the bulb pin to the topper here. There we go. And then I will gl um, glue the prompt onto the back. And I've got like, what, four days worth of tags. I think I'll be able to use this book for two years, which is kind of fun. Okay. All right. Oh, I like that. All right, let's see how it looks in the pocket. Oh, you know what? I think this bit of sparkliness will pick up the sparkle in the pocket. I could probably put another one in there, but I think we're good for good to go for now. So that is today. That will be the what? Ninth mm, pardon me, 19th and 20, 2122. Maybe I'll get two in there and I'll get that will get me up to 23. We'll do 24, 25. Yeah, this should get me right through easily the first half through through January. All right. Well, if you stuck with me, thank you very much. And I hope you have a great week. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.